Bow! Hi everyone, this is Bob Azir here once again on Windows 95 and today I will take you on an epic journey of strife, loss, and finally a well-deserved victory. All of which are not in this video, but what is in this video is my journey through the axe with my starter build. Let the day one commence! If you're expecting game mechanics, explanation, sound logic, or useful info, you're in the wrong place, my friend. We start this magnanimous journey with our Pathfinder using Caustic Arrow and then transitioning into Toxic Rain once we are able to equip it. Shrapnel Ballista keeps us company while we wait to equip our main damage dealing scale. Yes, of course, I'm talking about Righteous Fire. I said I was gonna start with Righteous Fire and dang it, I'm gonna hold myself accountable, okay? But none of my colleagues were level 16 at this point. And I even searched the trade website. Nothing. Not a zip. No righteous fires to be bought or seen. This is not me breaking my promise, guys. It's just a little bit delayed. It's kind of like when it's your birthday and, and you show up at your mom's house. And instead of getting presents, you're forced to do hard manual labor in the backyard in the rain for eight hours. While your older brother, whose birthday it's not, Sips my ties in the living room. It's kind of like that. You gotta be patient. It's coming. It's gonna be worth it, I promise. Now while we wait, let's look at this Act 2 boss skill with our toxic grain linked to poison chance. <laughs> Can you say the least optimal setup and still doing damage? Yeah, toxic grain is that good. Finally, at level 28, we get our Fire Mastery region notable for that sweet, sweet region getting our body ready for that fire. Finally, completing library yielded me the right to buy righteous fire. And look at here. What dropped in library, you ask? Springleaf. The POE gods were telling me, righteous fire, you must go, no matter what. All I could do is simply smirk and whisper. I don't even need the shield to sustain righteous fire. Thus, Tiss was how the amazing journey started. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can sustain RF. Middle mouse button don't work, of course. Why would it? But here it is, finally. Hey, 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 guys, guys, guys. Quiet down back there. It's a three link on a level one righteous fire. It's gonna get better, I promise. Remember, we should have had this skill at level 16, not 30 sums. Hang on, good things are coming. Now, I'm gonna skip past Dominus because no one wants to see how nasty of a beating he took. The amount of burnage we did to him was unprecedented. Okay, let's do the math here. Take 340 fire damage per second times that by 13 minutes. That's at least like quarter of a million damage. That's how serious Righteous Fire can be. Don't let your youngins play with it. After getting some levels on poison concoction in my offhand, I decided, you know what would go good with fire spewing from my feet? A side of venomous potions. So here I am trying it out. Of course without a shield, cause hands were full of vials. When you got so many in your hands, you can't possibly hold a shield. That's a fact guys. That's a fact. I'm not even role playing. It's, it's just the reality of things. Oh, oh, oh what's, what is this? Oh, we got so much fire resistance and life region that we are laughing, haha, <laughs> at the fiery floor that the laboratory provides. Bow! Whoa, look at this bow that I just got. I mean, if this ain't screaming righteous fire, <laughs> I don't know what does. I needed to show this clip, alright? When was the last time you tanked the Eye of Fury boss? Yeah, this build is that good. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ooh. Ooh, what do we have here? A fight with piety, you say? Righteous fire doing most of the damage, probably, you say? And the fight is still bugged, you say? Well, only three of those four things are true. And sustaining blood rage. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry to interject real quick, but uh, I, I just want to mention really quickly. Maybe you're starting the league a bit late, or maybe you're already leveling your second build. Well, I urge, nay, implore you, stop right there. Put down your fork and your mouse. 
and see what this bad boy can do. Truly let yourself emerge in the gameplay footage. Maybe you can turn your second character into this build. So what? If you're a Templar on the other side of the tree, there are regret orbs. There's also the create new button that sometimes does the trick. I mean, look at this, act for boss. I'm fighting him with 700 life. 700 life? With blood rage degen, with righteous fire degen, and with the red floor thingy degen. Now, I'm gonna skip Katawa because it's more of the same, guys cool 14 minute fight that resulted in Katawa's demise. Nothing more to say. I will show you however a bit of footage that I shot in Act 9 featuring, yup you guessed it, BOW! Very very nice. I also want to mention that I included my Act 5 POB down below with my exact gear and <laughs> extremely inefficient linkage. Seriously all my links are terrible. Don't follow it. I also included my POB when I killed Act 10 Katawa, so if you want to follow along, you could. Alright, I'm going to skip ahead a bit because this video is too long already, but what I will say is this. World's first 5 link Righteous Fire Pathfinder in Act 9 with 238 fire resistance. Whoa. Have you ever seen that? And finally, on to our main course of the evenings. Katawa. You were no match. Go back to slumbering in your cave. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with another beautiful video. But what I will say is, world's first 5 link Righteous Fire Pathfinder and Act 9 with 235 Wolf.